Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video, I shared with you that I was going to be remodeling two of my aunt's bathrooms. So I will be sharing with you that complete process, but now I'm gonna show you the before of what both of those spaces looked like. They both were covered in wallpaper and unfortunately I don't have the footage of the wallpaper, but I do have footage of everything after it was stripped. The boys bathroom. It's been stripped and everything and they've got all the wallpaper off of the walls. Basically, it is ready to be painted. So, um, yeah, the good thing is it has two areas. So you guys can see in here, um, you walk in and then you walk through this door right here to get to the other half. So um, pretty much we're going to have two different shades in this room this room back here is going to be darker a darker gray and then this room right here in the front is going to be a more light gray so it's going to be really really pretty and i'll share with you the colors that it is and then we're going to start decorating it i'm so excited Hope y'all are having a great weekend. So um, I'm about to head out because I am going to be helping my aunt, AKA client, <laughs> look for some um, flooring and tile for her bathroom. I think the last time um, I mentioned her bathroom to you guys, we were going to be looking for paint and we did find some paint and um, that has all been painted and everything. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like now. So now we're just looking for some flooring because she wants to redo the complete floor and everything in both bathrooms. And I have total control over decorating both of those which I'm so excited about so um, yeah once we leave here we're gonna go look for some more decor pieces for um, the walls and everything because we still haven't found like a really nice picture um, so I know what I want the look to look like I know what I want the boys bathroom to look like and I know what I want our master bathroom to look like so when it comes to the pictures I know what I'm looking for and I just haven't seen it so we're gonna go to some more stores to see if we can get that finalized and everything. And then hopefully, um, once she gets the flooring and everything down, we can put the decor pieces down and I can show you guys the final process and the final results. So um, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that I keep in mind, you know, what she likes and her husband likes as well as, you know, my cousins, they don't really care, the boys, they don't, it's whatever. Anyway, about to turn into floor and decor. So I'm about to take you all in here with me so you can see exactly what um, we are looking at and you know what the process is as far as basically making sure we get some flooring that matches with the color scheme and everything that we've got going on in there. Yay! Also while I'm in here, you guys know that I'm redoing the kitchen too so I need to get some more backsplash for my kitchen. Um, I know exactly the one that I think I'm going to use, but I need to get some more of it. So I'm going to get a couple more pieces and kind of line them up just to make sure that it is going to look the way that I want it to look in there. And then the guy that um, is going to do the backsplash, because I did decide that I'm not going to do it, he's going to come and he's going to put the backsplash and everything down as soon as we get the kitchen painted. So as far as that part, um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead on and paint it or if I'm going to let him paint it. But he did give me a quote on how much he would charge me to paint it. And just to save on time, I think that's what I'm gonna let him do. So I'm excited, y'all. We're getting a lot done. We're getting these renovations done. Kitchen's getting done. These bathrooms are getting done. I think that might be, definitely not that one. It's got blue in it. Yeah, and I wanna be able to change. I like that one. But I really like this one down here. What about this one? That one might be too brown. Because your bathroom is gray now. What about this one? Okay. And you said you didn't like that one because it looked really weathered. I really like this one, but I don't know if it's going to be too dark. I was going to say the darker it makes this room look smaller, doesn't it? And that's a pretty one, too. You don't like that one? 
It's got, it's got a, brown in it though, don't it? Yeah, it's kind of brown, but it's got gray in it too. It's like a brownie gray. This one is pretty. I like this one the best. This one right here? This one. This one right here. Mine. But this one right here is that one, which is pretty. But you know what? And that'll bring out that green in our bathroom, looks like. Yeah. See, they got green. But I want to be able to change it fairly often. I love my neutral. Are they? Yeah. So we've narrowed it down to hard gray. This one has no name, but it's pretty. Was it Westford Gray? And the last one is Westford Gray, which is really pretty. We pretty much narrowed down the pieces that we're gonna use for um, her bathroom. Um, we're just gonna get some samples and take them home and see what they look like. Cause that's always the best way to do it. You don't wanna buy a big box and then be stuck with it. You always wanna kinda get a, get a sample. Therefore you'll know exactly what you're getting. You put it down and you won't be surprised. I'm so excited. I think everything is just coming together really, really good. And it's gonna look really pretty in her bathroom. This is really pretty. We just added this piece. Which one is really pretty? This one? That one? Yeah. Leaving on our trip to, what's the name of this place? The ramp, the ramp. Yeah, that would be the So we see this picture here in Home Goods, which is really nice. And it's masculine, so. Do a close up. That's a pretty abstract paint right there. Once you add your stuff along with them though, that's when they, you know, they pop. Those, are, that's cute. We're gonna stick with more of a modern thing for their bathroom and then keep it more elegant in her bathroom. I'm not too fond of the tumblers and stuff they have in here. So I think we're gonna probably, I know Target has some beautiful tumblers. These are just kind of your usual. Everything I'm doing today has to either be unisex or um, male, so. All right, so we have to decide between but that's that's not the two concrete. One, this it's more of a black marble. Hole. Well, that's where they would put the toothpaste. I know, but where the toothbrush? That's a good question. This, that's it right there. Oh, so that's more modern, and that's then this is still modern, but it's more of a black gold, marble. But I guess it's close enough. Oh, the gold. But then the wall is gray. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the concrete option right here which I like. I like all three. So which one is it gonna be? We're looking for um, pictures. I'm looking for pictures for the boys' bathroom and it has to be black and white. So we ran across this abstract painting right here. Then there's this one. I absolutely love this one. Something about it is just really modern and contemporary, but she's not seeing the whole vision of the artwork and how you know, just the, the modernness of this photo with the circles and that one little pop of black. And then there's this one here, which is also another one that can be used. So all three of these, particularly these two give like a really modern look. We found this smaller version. I'm not sure that it's gonna be big enough, but we're gonna see. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger on that wall, but um, we're gonna check it out. So we are, Almost done with the boys, keeping it modern. So this picture has all of the shades of green in it that we have. It's gonna go with the jade green. It's a bit of an abstract painting, but it's really pretty. And um, I think once we get it in there, you'll be able to really see the colors next to the vase that I bought. 